Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back once again to number two of four of my new Black Series uh, sort of a set of reviews from the first wave of Solo a Star Wars Story, including this guy, Grand Moff Tarkin. Uh, we, I, I don't think he's going to be in the movie. Um, nothing's been confirmed. He's just part of the wave. He was next in line to come out. And boy, oh boy, it's been a long wait um, since they first showed this guy. Uh, trying to think when. They may have even shown him early on at Celebration uh, back in April. I think they may have, may have put this guy out. I can't remember. Thrawn was definitely there. I can't remember if they showed Tarkin, though. If not, it was probably uh, San Diego Comic Con or New York Comic Con later in the year. But he's finally here. They've gone with the uh, updated paint techniques on his face. And boy, does it pay off. So again, this one comes as number 63. Like I tried to roll the R there. Grand Moff Tarkin. An ambitious, ruthless proponent of military power, Will of Tarkin became a favourite of Emperor Palpatine and rose rapidly through the Imperial ranks. And that artwork is fantastic too. And Gregory Titus, check him out. Find him on Instagram. Does a really good job. So let's get the box out of the way and let's have a look at the figure and accessory. So we'll start with the accessory. We'll start with Dr. Ball MD, the interrogator droid. Um, you'll remember Dr. Ball MD if you've seen the Robot Chicken um, Star Wars specials from seven, eight years ago, perhaps. I can't remember which, which uh, one. There were three of them. I can't remember which one he appeared in. But he was just like a little parody of a medical drama. And this guy was the doctor. He was just Dr. Ball MD. So the interrogator droid from A New Hope. Doesn't really have anything to do with Tarkin, but it's a cool accessory. Um, Tarkin doesn't come with a blaster himself, so to come with a with an extra accessory like this is, is awesome. Um, really nicely detailed, this thing. I mean, cool if some of the little, little arms on the gadgets moved, but, uh, you know, they're just rubber static accessories. There's the needle. When it comes into the room, it'll whoop, 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 whoop. I can't remember what noise it makes. Um, but yeah, it's cool. It comes on a nice stand. It stands up well. You can get some. It doesn't really stand if you tilt it. No, well, it kind of does. But yeah, really cool accessory. Really, really excited to have this one. This is cool. Um, yeah, they, they could have got away with Tarkin having nothing. Maybe just give him a standard issue blaster, but they went out and gave us this, so kudos Hasbro. Thank you. Let's put that aside. Let's look at the Grand Moff himself. Look at that face. I really hope this is showing up well on camera for you guys. The sculpt work is fantastic. The paint work is just phenomenal. It's just... This has just added a new depth to these six inch black series figures for, for something that's, you know, it's $20 at retail in the US. It's about 35 here in Australia. Um, and you know, probably the, more so the equivalent to what we pay here in the UK to what the US pay. Um, I'm sure they pay a little bit more than the equivalent of 20 US dollars over there, but you know, for something that's not a $50 figure, this is, they've, they've, Hasbro's taken a step in the right direction. They're listening to the fans, which is great. And this figure is just, it's, it's, it's really good. It's, it's spot on. They've, uh, yeah, they've, they've nailed it. Would have been a funny accessory and unnecessary if they uh, gave him the slippers. <laughs> There's a lot of, if you know the behind the scenes stuff that uh, Peter Cushing, in the scenes where his feet weren't in the shot, he didn't need to wear boots. So he wouldn't wear boots, he'd wear slippers. And uh, yeah, apparently there were, there were some, so, some shots over the years that have crept into the movie where you sort of see a slipper, but I, I don't recall seeing them. But, um, yeah, this is a good figure. Let's go to the bottom, work our way up. 
got the boots, nice shiny boots. It's an imperial outfit, which is a you know it's a nice blend between grey and green. Um, you know, I'm not sure how this is showing up, but uh, the vintage collection Tarkin that came out a few years back, he was a real, it was a real sort of um, khaki green, I guess you call it. And uh, they just didn't quite get that balance of grey green. He's not fully grey, um, and it's not fully green. It's sort of a bit of a olivey, olivey grey to his uniform. And they've done it this time. Again, I hope my camera is showing this showing this stuff well um, I won't know until I sort of upload it and have a look myself but uh yeah fantastically done rank badge is nice nice matte color for his uniform looks good scout work is really good Articulation, new standard, I guess, with the uh, fixing of the neck, the neck joint, got rid of those ugly neck joints, and they've got that, you can't really see in there, but it's that sort of double peg, hollow neck, as opposed to the ugly hinge, and it still allows for good movement, so yeah, like I said with the Han Solo video that I did before, um, kudos to Asbro for making that change, because that's a winner. So the rest of articulation is pretty standard, but it's uh, it's good. It's a really good figure. So I can't wait to put him in some shots with Vader and Krennic and um, maybe even a Thrawn shot or something like that. I think that'd be fun. Next up, we want uh, Admiral uh, Colonel Yularen. It'd be a nice addition. So let me know what you think guys, down in the comments below. Definitely keen to see what you think of this guy. He's pretty, pretty damn good. Um, jumped into my top five as soon as, I, as soon as I looked at him in the packet, in the box. Straight up, fantastic. Very simple, but he is iconic. He is the main villain, arguably the main villain in A New Hope in the original movie. Um, yeah, I guess Vader is, but you know, Tarkin, he's, he's there for most of the movies doing all the make, making all the decisions. So yeah, let me know what you think. Next up, I've got the range trooper from Hans, from Solo, A Star Wars Story. So stay tuned for that one. And thank you very much for watching as always. Until next time, guys, may the force be with you.